In the dusty and uneven world of Earth, the key technology is the brutal symbiosis between man and machine, and the exoskeleton bolted to Max da Costa's body is its most visceral manifestation. These strength-enhancing suits are not a far-fetched fantasy, agencies like DARPA and numerous robotics companies are already developing similar systems, not only to allow soldiers to lift over 200 pounds without fatigue, but also to restore mobility to people with spinal cord injuries. What distinguishes the Elysium suit is its third-generation neurokinetic integration, an invasive surgery that connects it directly to the central nervous system, making it an extension of the user's own body, responding instantly to their motor intentions. This link leads us to the film's most groundbreaking technology, the brain-computer interface. The ability to download complex data, such as Elysium's reboot program, directly from John Carlyle's brain as if it were a biological hard drive, is a bold extrapolation of current research. Companies like Neuralink are already working on decoding neural signals to control external devices, but reading thoughts or extracting structured and coherent data at that speed is a quantum leap. The film presents it as a neural data port, a physical access point to the storehouse of memory and consciousness that raises enormous ethical and security dilemmas. The brain becomes hackable hardware. In contrast to this sophistication, the police droids represent a more pragmatic and oppressive AI, automatons with limited but effective intelligence, similar to the creations of Boston Dynamics, designed not to think but to execute orders with dehumanizing efficiency, serving as the perfect control tool in a broken world.